If you're not aware by now, you soon will be. Our solar system has moved in to a galactic cloud, and part of this cloud um, has an element that is impacting our solar system and impacting our sun and our planet, and that is helium, particularly helium-3 and helium-4. The purpose of this video is to begin to bring into our awareness when we talk about a cloud, particularly one of this nature, it's very foreign to us. I had to stop and think, well, what scale are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a galactic scale. Now, I don't know if many of you are aware of this. Probably you are, but let's just do this as a refresher course. Understand our solar system is surrounded by what is called the Oort cloud. This is where the comets come out of. We're finding now uh, many, um, where NASA once thought that this was a sparse, very, not very much out there. It's just the opposite. It's very dense. We're finding new planetary objects, comets, uh, brown dwarfs. It's all out there. And when you begin to take into fact how fast our, how fast the sun is moving, in turn, how fast our Milky Way, our galaxy is moving, we're moving into regions of space that we've never encountered. So you have to stop and think again, when you start hearing more and more of this information, you're going to hear it. Um, understand where we are in the universe, in the gal galaxy, in our solar system, and how vast and large it is, and you begin to understand we really are still discovering. We don't know everything, and it's foolish for people to be making comments, coming to conclusions um, that they don't even know what they're talking about. Listen, this has been hidden from us. There have been researchers, um, again, uh, hats off to the folks over at Higher Truth. They have gotten the word out. We're going to get the word out, and we're going to come to understand that our universe, space, is still the last frontier. Uh, we don't know. When you begin to take where we sit in our galaxy, you begin to find out, folks, this is big. And when our star, our sun, has been acting the way it has, and when we begin to see all these other things begin to add up, and you begin to realize how vast the universe is, it cannot come to you as a surprise. It is impacting our sun, absolutely. We know this. Listen, our physicists said back in May, in June, in the papers that she wrote, that this was the cause of a brown dwarf. She mentioned the fact that helium would be there. We just, we missed it. Uh, and it takes others who are much more diligent to bring this out. And the purpose of this, what I'm showing, is to do nothing more than to expand all of our awareness as to how very large of this thing we call reality our universe is. It's vast. We make new discoveries every day, and we're finding out new things all the time. And when we talk about a cloud, we don't know how big this is. We don't know if we're in the beginning of it or if we're in the end of it. We don't know. Uh, I don't think we're in the end of it. I think that we have been moving into this for quite some time. It's just like NASA has had to admit that there are planets out there in the Kuiper Belt, not the Oort Belt, the Kuiper Belt, which is even closer, that are enormous, huge. I mean, that could literally dwarf half of our solar system. So we have to understand that when we come into these 
galactic clouds. And who knows? I mean, obviously, uh, there will be white papers written on this in the decades to come uh, as this continues to impact us. We'll be making more discoveries, and we're going to find out more and more mysteries to the things that we really don't understand. Uh, I think that this is, in fact, having an impact on our climate. I don't believe that this is man-made. You know, when I hear these people talk about man-made situations, it shows me their elite arrogance. Listen, every person, I don't care where you stand on the climate change, you first need to recognize climate change starts from outside. And these pig-headed so-called intellectuals running around there, hello, Al Gore, I invented the internet, saying that, oh, no, you know, this is, that's fear porn. Go jump on them, you trolls. Hit them. What we're saying, yeah, climate change is happening, happening faster, and it's going to accelerate. But by God, if you're going to make a point on this, be honest about it. Why doesn't the White House, why doesn't the UN come out? Listen, you can't stop it. It's the sun. It's the solar system. It is the universe. Man can do very little. And it's a fact. There's my commentary for this video. So as we begin to see strange objects begin to fill the sky, and we begin to see effects in our atmosphere and around us, we have to understand that there are forces out there that are far greater than we have even understand. We, we can only begin to imagine. How do you know what you don't know? We're seeing now effects when we have eclipse, light shift spectrums. We're seeing this as well. And don't think that galaxies haven't collided. Happens all the time. Ours is heading for a collision with Andromeda. And we will collide with that uh, galaxy. So when you remember, when you talk about the dust clouds, keep in mind how big these can truly big be. Excuse me. The universe is vast. And as we begin to see more and more of what we don't understand, it becomes more and more of a mystery. And so all we can do is begin to observe, begin to collect the data, begin to follow what we can. Eventually, this is going to hit main mainstream. It is no doubt. You know it's coming. You can be the first in your family and your block to tell everybody, well, I knew this. There are forces in the universe, folks, that we're hitting into our solar system, in particular our inner solar system. And you need to understand it is impacting our sun. We see it all the time. And as we continue to expand our understanding of the very thing that we rely our very lives upon, yeah, there can be times where we should be concerned. We should be aware of what is happening. And when we see these events happening, then we need to not come back and come back and just try to crucify people. My God, I see some of the comments. You know, there are some pathetic souls out there. That's all I got to say. If this is the way you write to your children or to your loved ones, my God, get some help. So be aware, it's happening. We live in a very big galaxy, and it pales in comparison to the universe. And we know facts that begin to hit us, how these begin to hit and impact our Earth. By the way, here's your latest brown dwarf right into our own neighborhood. Remember the art cloud? Remember it's and by the way, this is perfect to begin to give you some idea of the vast distances we are dealing with. When we look at these type of representations of where we live at, and there we are, that's our place. Wave at yourself, say hello. And to realize that we're in a local group <laughs> people we know very, very little. In fact, from here to here 
is 4 million light years. Every light year is roughly 6 trillion miles, so do the math. It's impacting, we know as well, Jupiter, all of our planets. Man, they're all lit up like freaking torches out there. And could this be reality? Who knows? I mean, at this point, none of us can say for sure. By the way, remember, this kind of gives you where we are. Here's the asteroid belt, which used to be a planet. In fact, I believe it's where Earth is now. We have the outer solar system here. Then you got the Kuiper belt, right? This is where we're finding all of the brown dwarfs, planets, everything else. And then you get out here to the Oort cloud, and then there's interstellar space. So we still have a lot to go. And again, just keep in mind, this is what is happening. So stay tuned, keep calm, use the force of love. Folks, no matter what, the vibration of love is more powerful than anything else. And it's the most powerful thing you can do about this in your own life. So be kind to one another. Love one another. Genuinely love people. It's not that difficult. doesn't cost you anything. All right. We'll talk soon.